If you don't want customers to be able to go onto your website and you want it password protected, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first under sales channels, we're going to select online store and it's going to bring up more options. And then we're going to go into preferences. Once on this page, scroll all the way down to the bottom. So right here in the password protection area is where you can restrict access to the visitors by just check marking this. So I already have that turned on where it's password protected on my site. I could remove it or just make sure it's turned on. If you do check mark it and it wasn't check marked before, make sure you hit save. And then down here in this password, you can select whatever password you want. And I believe it already has a random one in there. So if you just want to keep that random one, that's fine. And I do want to say here, so Sometimes you can write messages in this area and it will pop up. I believe it depends on your theme because what I type here no longer is what shows up on that main page. I actually have to edit it in the themes area. So I'm going to show you what my password protected site looks like right now. And then I'll show you where I edit the text in my theme. So it may be different depending on what theme you have. So when I go to my website, this is what it looks like because it is password protected. So I have a message that I typed up here and then I have a please enter your password. I added this employees only because people were coming to my website and asking if I could help them refigure out what their password was because they weren't able to get in. But it was made for them not to be able to get in, but they just thought they had forgotten a password. And then I think I had also changed the text of this for employees only just to again not confuse customers and make them think that they're supposed to have access to the site. So if I type in my password and I hit confirm, my website will pop up. And now I'm going to try to show in my theme where I would edit the text that pops up on that main page that the password is entered on. So I'm going to go in my themes, I'm going to hit customize. And then I'm going to go into theme settings and I'm going to scroll down until I find password. Then once I find password, I can expand this by clicking on it. And then it shows that there's an image that I could add. I didn't add one. I could add a title. And then here where the description is, is where I was able to add that description that shows up on that page. So your theme may be a little different, but if you can't edit the text on that other page, come check in your theme settings. And then down here was where I had put, uh, this password field for the title I put employees only and then the field message so that's where the password is entered I again put for employees only just to make sure customers knew that they weren't allowed access to my website at that time so there's a few times when I feel like you want to close it down with a password when you're first starting and you're just getting it ready to go and you don't really want people visiting your website you can password protect it and then also if you ever need to limit orders since I ran my business by myself there were times that I would get sick and I just couldn't physically pack orders or if I had gotten so many orders during a sale that I was getting behind and I wanted to stop orders for let's say a week I would password protect it for a week I would let customers know I will open back up but for now I need to catch back up on my orders and one thing I almost forgot to mention is that while you're editing all this you can go down this drop down where it says home page go into others and then click password and it will show that page as you are editing it for example for here where it says for employees only Let's say I entered enter password and then a load and it put that text in there. So it's just easier while you're editing it if you can see what's happening to that page.